Hi again. Remember this great UFO photo? The 1990 Calvine UFO, with a flying diamond-shaped thing and a fighter jet escorting it. It's still a bit of a myth, because the author of the photo never stood forward, so there is absolutely no data on this. But I read an idea I had to try and recreate in Blender. Imagine a field somewhere in Scotland. There's a small pond or maybe just a puddle. There's a fence with poles with wires. There are trees and bushes. And there's a bird flying over it. And there is a rock in the pond. The sky is cloudy. This is the rock, but it could also be a piece of metal, fabric or some garbage. The cameraman was placed here, maybe on a small hill. Now let's fill in some water. and get up to the position of the cameraman. Are you starting to see where I'm going with this? Now let's flip the UFO photo around. The top is actually a reflection in the water. And the trees in the bottom are not hanging down, but is the top of the trees. I know it looks like a fighter jet, but it could also be a flying bird with a little motion blur. I didn't find the right bird, but you get the idea. I think the scene makes okay sense, but there's also some things that makes me doubt it. I had to cheat to have the water reflecting like this, because the reflection is brighter than the actual object. Normally the reflection is darker. This looks more real to me. The reflection of the fence is also more natural, when the reflection is dark. Also I find it a bit incredible for the water to be so clean clear and still, so you can't see the difference between real things, reflections and front or back. But then again, I'm not sure I can compare a photo of a 33 year old photo 100% with a 3D generated image. But it's not a totally crazy idea is it? Oh and then there's the things in the top, or bottom. This could actually just be some distant trees or maybe a hill. The distance and height is not unrealistic. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Also remember to watch my analysis of the Costa Rica UFO, link is in the description. And check out my channel, like and subscribe to support me. Oh and I'm sorry for the crappy computer voice, I don't feel comfortable enough speaking English like this.